Hi, hello everyone. Uh, in this YouTube tutorial series, we're going to be learning about WebGL, specifically WebGL 2, since that's the version that I'm going to be using. And we're going to try to create a simple game, something like Space Invaders, maybe. Uh, so, uh, since we're working with WebGL, uh, you might want to check uh, if your browser does support it. So, this should be the link. Uh, where you can check it, I'll also share it in the description of the video. Uh, so, if your browser does not support it, I do recommend some other browser. Usually on Windows, Chrome, Firefox, Edge should be fine. Uh, I do recommend uh, Firefox or Chrome because we might use some tools uh, that are for those browsers. On Linux, usually Chrome uh, or Firefox work as well for me. Uh, on Mac, I haven't tested and and uh, Apple had some history with WebGL 2 not being supported uh, for some reason. But anyway, you, even even Safari or Chrome should be fine there as well, uh, probably. And since we're working uh, within the browser, we're going to be using browser programming language, which is JavaScript. But in this case, I'm going to be using TypeScript, which is just strongly typed Java strongly typed JavaScript, think of it like that. It essentially just transpiles to JavaScript. So uh, it's similar to just about any other programming language like C Sharp, maybe Kotlin, uh, Java, uh, whatever, any, any strongly language, strongly typed language. Uh, since uh, we're working with browser, we're probably going to need Node. Uh, so if you don't have Node, I do recommend to install it now and then continue with the video. Uh, version 18 is probably going to be fine. And then uh, we're going to be using Vite. Uh, I'm going to explain Vite in a second, but it's just going to run our server and we're going to use it to compile our project. And then for for editor, I'm personally going to use Visual Studio Code, but you can use whichever editor uh, you like. So let's actually get started with it. And let's just go here. Uh, first, let's just confirm if Node is installed. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be using PowerShell, but you can use uh, command line or git bash, whatever. Uh, sorry, bash script. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just check if Node is installed. So you can confirm it like this, Node version. I have 16, uh, you might have some other version, but it should be fine. And then let's just uh, install Vite. So uh, for those who are new to Node, this is just Node Package Manager. It just installs some packages, and then you just type i, or you can type install as well. Uh, package name is Vit, uh, and then globally, uh, Vit is some French word, as I understood. Uh, some messages. All right, this is deprecated. That's fine. And then if you have it installed, you should be able to use it now. So we use it as npm create, and then just say it and then you should ask us a couple of questions, like uh, what do we want to call this project? I'm going to be using uh, space router. It's probably fine name for it. Uh, we're going to be using vanilla, uh, so just TypeScript and and then TypeScript as well. It created a project. Uh, you can see it here in Space Shooter, right? A folder and uh, and then then let's just navigate to that folder. Let's run npm install as it just suggested, and then npm run dev and that will start build our project and start the server let's just clear it npm run dev perfect and you can see the port here so this one uh, and then if i go here i can just type and it added some defaults uh, the david project adds some defaults which we're going to get rid of I'm just going to use Visual Studio code. Open our project. In my case, it's already opened. Perfect. And then we have this default uh, stuff done by Vit, which we do not need. So we're going to get rid of counter. We're going to get rid of content in main TS. Style CSS, we might leave it. We're going to get rid of content. 
and then this is some SVG, we don't care about it. And then in index, let's start with our project, and then we're going to need canvas element. ID, let's just type canvas, right, at this. And for title, you can say space shooter, and that should change our title to space shooter. The TypeScript logo does not exist. This is weird, but all right. Ah, I just probably need to save all. As you can see, it will say space shooter here now because we changed our title here. And then in, in main, uh, let's start actually with our WebGL. Uh, so, uh, the point of this video is just to set up everything. And after that, uh, in, in the next video, we're actually going to use uh, WebGL a bit more. But for now, let's just set up our viewport and then add some color to it. Uh, all right, private canvas, HTML canvas element. All right, uh, private GL, WebGL. Oh, WebGL2 rendering context, that's fine. And then constructor, let's actually use our canvas. Canvas here, uh, doc. Document, not user selector. Ah, sorry. Get element by ID canvas as HTML canvas element. That's fine. And then we're just going to need WebGL. So uh, first we get that canvas element that we have created in our index.html file. Uh, we get it by ID here canvas. Uh, if you type something else for id then you're going to type something else here we just need to cast it to html canvas element and same here for webgl uh, to rendering context we have our context now uh, so you can create uh, also webgl context to the context but or web gpu context web gpu is really cool uh, going to be doing a video on that as well in future uh, but for now just webgl2 and then we probably need to clear color to something i'm going to use let, let's clear it to red. Uh, so if I move it here, nothing happens because we haven't actually cleared our color buffer bit. So if I now save, nothing happens because obviously I haven't called render. Now if I call it, and we should see some uh, red background. Uh, so our canvas element is a bit too small. Let's just enlarge it. Height 600, 800 by 600 is probably good size. And yeah, that's it. Uh, so what did we do? Uh, we just created basically a simple render class. Uh, sorry, maybe I should enlarge it. Uh, then got the canvas element. Uh, so the canvas element is actually where you render your WebGL stuff. So we got a context for uh, WebGL2. So we're working with WebGL2. And then we just clear color. This is red, but you can use any other color here as well. Maybe it can be, uh, what will we get? Red, green, yellow, right? Because red and combination of red and green is yellow. And then you just clear the contents of the color buff. Uh, what, what does this do actually? Uh, maybe I should explain it. But basically when, when you render your game, it runs 60 frames per second, right? And, and each frame, it actually just clears the contents of the frame buffer. Frame buffer being just memory, where we essentially hold the pixels, right? It holds the pixels of, of what we draw. And then we say, uh, when we're drawing, uh, usually you just want to clear it to some color, right? So it might be just some white color or whatever. And then, then you can start over drawing your frame. Otherwise, it will keep what was drawn in previous frame. Anyway, that's not important. Those are details and we're going to cover them later. But that's it for this video. In the next video, we're probably going to try to create a triangle on screen because this is kind of a hello world of WebGL and it's actually not that simple. It's a bit complex, but not too complex. Uh, it's, it's easy. Uh, the more you do it, the, the, the easier it becomes. So, all right, uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll see you in next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as well. If you liked it, just leave a like, subscribe or 
something like that. All right, perfect. Uh, so until next time.